soldiers start to dig in, it becomes a little bit more of a defensive war. Let the enemy come to you. And of course, when they come to you, they're going to come with those long battle lines. So for the most part, tactics do not change enough to help the common infantry soldier. Well, with all that being said, we talked about the weapon. We talked about tactics. Let's talk about common soldiers. At the beginning of the Civil War, President Lincoln and the Union Army only have about 15,000 men in it. Some of those go south. President Davis and the Confederacy, he didn't have a standing army at all. So the majority of both armies at the beginning are being made up of volunteers, civilians. <coughs> Farmers, laborers, factory workers, even teachers are going to go to fight. These are not trained soldiers. Well, let me ask you a question. Do I have any veterans here? Anybody serve? Well, I want to thank you very much for serving your country. Because of you guys, I get to play soldier every day. So thank you. Well, I got a question for you. When you first enlisted and they handed you a weapon, did you know all about the weapon? No. 99% of all my veterans say the same thing. Well, if they were from the country, they may have fired their daddy's hunting rifle, maybe shotgun. This is going to be a little bit different from anything they're used to. And if they're from the city, well, they may have never fired a weapon at all. So when they join the Army, one of the most important things that I can do is teach these new soldiers about how to fire a weapon. So that's what I'm going to talk about now. I'm basically going to talk about the loaded nine times drill. And by nine times, there are nine steps just to load this weapon. I know it looks like an antique. But remember, this is state-of-the-art industry technology. And these nine steps have to be learned on the Army drill. And you're going to drill until you can do it without even thinking about it. So what I'm going to do now is go through the nine steps and try to explain a little as I go. First command, load it nine times, load. With that command, I will bring this weapon right down by my left foot. The barrel is going to be parallel to my body, slightly pointed away for safety. The Army is going to teach you the fastest and the safest way to load this weapon. My free hand, or you probably run into this box here. This is my cartridge box, where I keep my ammunition. This box can hold 50 rounds, so I reach in here and find a cartridge. Now remember, this is just drill, so we don't, so we don't do anything until we get an order to do so. So I reach in here and find a cartridge. Next to me is handle, cartridge. This is my cartridge right here. You have your powder and your bullet neatly tucked away inside of it. Well, to be in the infantry and load this weapon, you have to pass one test. I don't care how tall you are or how much you weigh. The only thing I need to see from each and every one is a nice smile. I need to see some teeth. Oh, nice smile, beautiful. Oh, he has a good infantry soldier here. Well, what's a nice smile about him floating the weapon? Happy disposition, maybe? Uh, what's that? See this tab here? I've got to get to the power of the bullet. So this tab is going to be very important to me. Handle cartridge, this tab right here will be directly in my mouth. Just like that. So I'm not worried about hygiene. They just want you to have two. So this goes in my mouth, and the next man is tear cartridge. I will pick that up, by the way. <laughs> and try not to spit on anybody. <laughs> Or swallow too much black powder. <laughs> no. To be in the infantry and load this weapon, you only need two good teeth. <laughs> one on top, one on the bottom. <laughs> I hope they're posing each other. If you have one here and one there, put them to the artillery. There's one in the infantry soldier. So we've got to our powder and our bullet. I'm going to bring it right to the front of the barrel. And the next command is charge card. And that's basically just pour the powder. Right down the barrel, I'm convinced. Now, if I had a real bullet here today, I'd push it down with my thumb. That's about as far as it's going to go, because my thumb isn't that long. So the powder has gone all the way to the bottom of the barrel, the bridge. So my bullet's right here. Well, how am I going to get the bullet from here down there? Ramrod. Ramrod. Some people call it stick thing, the technical thing. And that command is draw ramrod. Take the ramrod, hold the stick thing out, flip it over, and stop right there. That's the end of that command. The uh, next command is pretty simple. Ram, cartridge. I'm going to put that bullet all the way down the bottom of the barrel. So now I have my powder and my bullet exactly where I need it. Now the next command I'm going to teach you, to me, the most important of the nine. What do I need to do then? Remove. Remove the ramrod. Return ramrod. Now I see people smiling. <coughs> it sounds like common sense. 
But now, you're going into bat, and now people have to shoot at you. Soldiers would sometimes say the bullets sound like bees buzzing by and that close. You think you might be a little scared? Personally, I'd be even terrified. I don't know why I tell you. Well, you think they made the kids return the rammer? It had. It happened a lot. Well, if you fire this weapon with the rammer down the barrel, well, the rammer's going to go shooting out. And it's going to make a funny whizzing noise as it goes across the field. Now, the enemy can hear this one across the field at it. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to duck and they're going to laugh at you until they get hit by one of these and they're not laughing anymore. They have families and fences, trees, buildings, well, probably they well, well, why are they laughing at you? What do they know? <laughs> well, they now know that you went from having a nine and a half pound state of the art rifle musket in order to have a nine and a half pound state of the art baseball bat. <laughs> now, who wants to take a baseball bat to a gunfire? 500 yards is a long way. You think they're going to get close enough to take a good swing at them? Chances are no. You're just going to stand there with seven. Well, so it doesn't, doesn't fall back out, back out. I ran the bullet hunting, so it's not going to come back out. What about the day that? An early award, this is the primary weapon. Well, I'm still trained to use it. This is an offensive and a defensive weapon. This is a very effective weapon. at close range, but it's not going to be much good at 500 yards. And in fact, swords, knives, and bayonets together count for less than 1% of all battlefield casualties. Less than 1%. And you see how little this is going to be used in combat. It's still good to have it, just in case. Well, we return the ram. The next command is that of prime. And on the prime command, you will take out your right foot and make a T behind your left. I know this looks awkward, and it hurts a little bit, but it is a balanced shooting platform. Now, some people say this is the ballet position. Anybody do ballet here? Well, I don't, and if I did, I would tell you. So. <laughs> I'm going to bring the weapon up. Everybody listen, you're going to hear something very important. You hear that? That's my safety. That's called half cock. There's an old saying that says, don't go 